speed 5.5 and constant acceleration 0.5 in the straight road is overtaken at a road sign S by a car C traveling at speed 11 meters per second and a constant acceleration of 0.015. Calculate the greatest distance that car C will be ahead of motorbike B. Well, the deal is, is that when, uh, when B is at the junction and C goes by it, so what happens is they're both sort of moving and as they hit the junction, they're both level. And then what happens is C is going faster, but B has a superior acceleration. So eventually B will start to go faster than C. And what will happen is it will start to gain on C. And then eventually, as they're both moving, B will be level with C again. All right? But that's not what they're talking about. What they're talking about is the moment that B starts to catch C. At that moment in time, the velocity of B actually equals the velocity of C. Both velocities are equal to each other. That's it. So it should be relatively easy to do this. If you're after... Now, using UVAST, we know for the, for the, for the bike, it's 5.5. Its velocity is v, its acceleration is 0.5, its s value we do not know, and its t value we do not know. And then for the car, its velocity is 11, its velocity is v, which is the same as vc, its acceleration is 0.125, its distance we don't really know, and its time is the same as the bike. Now, we're going to use uh, V equals U plus AT for both. And what we should get is V equals 5.5 plus 0.5T. And in turn, that has to equal... Sorry. In turn, that has to equal the other one, which is 11 plus... 0.125t. Okay. Now, 0.5 take away 0.125 is 0.375t. 11 take away 5.5 is 5.5. Therefore, t is 5.5 divided by 0.375. And we get 44 over 3. And we get the time is 44 over 3. Okay. Grant. Now, the question is asking, the question is also asking, what's the greatest distance? So I'm going to have to define the distance covered by B and the distance covered by C to find out which one's ahead of which. Okay. So now that we know that that's 44 over 3, we're going to use the S formula. S equals UT plus a half AT squared. Okay. And the first S value is going to be 5.5. What is it? It's going to be 5.5 times 44 over 3 plus a half half times a half, which is a quarter, and t squared is 44 over 3 squared. Okay, put that into the calculator. I got 1,210 divided by 9. Anybody else get that? 1,210 divided by 9. And then for the car, that's S bike, S subscript car will be 11 UT. So that should be a U. 11 times 44 over 3 plus 0.5. Half AT squared 
0.125 t squared. Okay. Go back to this one. Figure out the angle. So what's that? That's an eight by a half, so that's a sixteen. So we got one five seven three over nine. And we get one five seven three over nine for the distance of the car. We're expecting the distance of the car to be bigger than the distance of the the bike. Now we're gonna take them away from each other. And we get 121 over three, which is the correct answer. So take the distance of the car, the distance of the bike away from the distance of the car. And you get 121 over 3 meters. From S to the point where B overtakes A. So what do we know in this scenario? Distance of covered by B equals distance covered by C. And we can use some of the knowledge we had in the last question to do this. So if we go back up a little bit. And I'll lob this question down the bottom here. Okay. What's SB again? SB is 5.5 .5 times T plus a half uh, times 0.5 T squared. And SC is 11t plus a half times 0.125 times uh, t squared as well. Now, a half times a half is what, guys? It's a quarter, isn't it? Okay. So what I'm thinking we're doing here is we're going to put both these equations equal to each other and solve the quadratic and get the time and then get the distance. So, yeah, you just draw them equal to each other. Part two is easier than part one. Part two is considerably easier than part one. Put them equal to each other. So, 5.5t 5 .5 plus a quarter t squared equals 11t. A half by an eighth is 1 16th t squared. And then, yes. Now, uh, a quarter take away is 16, there's 3 16 t squared. Uh, 5.5 take away 11 is minus 5.5 t. And as one of my students was telling me a second ago, we're going to get two answers. The t equals zero answer, which we were expecting. And then we're going to try and get the second answer now. So when the answer is t equals zero, we're going to multiply 5.5 we're going to get 3t over 16 equals uh, 5.5. Multiply by 16 and divide by 3. Multiply by 16. Divide by 3. Again, 88 over 3 for the time. Now, what's that what I was asked for? wasn't asked for that, I was asked for what distance. So I can stick it back into either equation I want. And the equation I'll use is this one here. So it's going to be 11 times 88 over 3 plus 1 16th 88 over 3 squared. Does anybody have an answer for this? Yeah, that's it. 3,388 all over 9 meters. As we discussed earlier below, sketch the shape of the displacement time graph for displacements of B relative to S for the first 30 seconds. So 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Now, displacement scale I am too sure about yet, but I'll figure that out in a second. 
Now here's what I'm thinking. Let's start off with the bike. What was the equation for the bike a second ago? It was 5.5 t, wasn't it? Plus a quarter. Was it plus a quarter t squared, was it? Yeah. Now look at this. Put that into your table function. Okay. And go modes, table function, 5.5 uh, alpha x plus one quarter. Uh, x squared. Okay. Start at zero. End at 30. Go up in steps of five. What? Oh, does it? No, in the first 30 seconds of its motion after it passes S. Oh, S after it passes the start line. So I'm safe. Okay. Now, do you see these points? 1080, how far do I have to go up? 30 all the way to 390. Okay. So how many spots is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What do we think? 50s. So that'll put me at 400, won't it? So I'm going to do this up in 50s. So this is 50, 100. 400, what's it, 350, okay, you get the gist, we all love and life in here today, now, we all good, okay, now, using my, using my graph, if you guys have this, it'll speed me along, so if you could enter that in, and go up in fives, it'll speed me along nicely, okay, anybody got the first one, zero, zero, obviously, 33.75, I'll make an estimate. You want next one? 80. Uh, just over 75, I suppose, go on. 138, so just under 150. Yeah, next one. 210, just above 200, yeah. Just under the 300 mark, yeah. 390, just underneath the 400 mark. Grand. Okay, and you can see it's not it's not a straight line, is it? Right. And then the blue one, guys. Uh, this distance of the car. Will you do the same thing for me? Eleven t plus one sixteen t squared. We got all the points, don't we? Okay, let's go. Zero, zero, yeah. Zero, five and fifty-six, is it? After that, hundred and sixteen, yeah. Hundred and seventy-nine, yeah. About the one eighty marks. Getting bigger, got bigger distance at the moment. Two forty-five. Yep. Three fifteen. Plus under the 390, doesn't it? About there. And you can see that it increases its gap at the start, but then as time goes on, it closes back in and overtakes. Excuse the wobble. It's the best I can do under the circumstances. But that's the type. Shine, I've been past for ages. I'm not past. Well, I'm not editing that out. 